Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a background here. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas. Um, it's been pre-gessoed and I'm going to throw some paint on here. I'm going to do the background for um, the Winter Cardinal and um, we're going to do that with our Ladies Fellowship uh, coming up soon. So I'm going to paint the background on here and that's what I'm going to videotape. I'll add the bird probably tomorrow. So then I'll do a part two and get the bird on there once everything's dry. So it's late. It's about 12, 23 or so at night. And uh, so I want to get started. I've got some colors here we're going to use. We've got um, some red, of course. I'm not going to use that tonight, obviously. But uh, we're going to do some white and black. I've got some grays here, but I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, maybe I will do the gray. I'll do the gray with some white. We'll save the black for later. So let's get started. I've got my brush here I'm gonna use, okay? It's uh, a one inch flat brush. And I've got some other tools here, some more brushes that we'll use once we get the, uh, the cardinal done. So let's get started. I got my plate here, which I like to use as a palette. And uh, we'll get started. I'm gonna make a couple of piles. I'm using acrylic paint, so I've got a bigger canvas, so I better throw some extra paint on there. I'm going to take uh, some gray and some white, and I'm going to take my brush, my one inch brush, and I'm going to start with go half white, half gray and do the other side as well, so you can see what I've got going on here. All right, and uh, we'll get started. Let's get some paint, good, good amount of paint in here. And I don't have my big brush, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back and forth, and you can see where the paint is gonna blend, and it's gonna give that nice background effect. Um, Kind of like maybe there might be some snow falling. We're going to throw some birch trees in there tomorrow as well. We'll just get the background done. And uh, shouldn't take long. So if you're watching this and you want to grab a canvas or paper or whatever, and you can do your background any color you want. Okay. So I like to mix the two the gray and the white. Once I get get it all on here, then I'll go over it, smooth it all out. So I hope you all are having a good day or evening. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. If you'd like to drop in the comments where you're watching from, that would be great. I think I might do um, a chickadee also, not on this particular canvas, but we'll do another canvas for the chickadee. My friend Tony suggested that, so I just might do that and surprise her, so we'll see. I have nice wide brushes that came in the mail yesterday, but I dropped them off at the art lab. That would definitely make short work of this if I would have brought them. I would have probably used my two inch flat. basically like a trim brush, trim up the house. Okay. Once you get the canvas at the top done, you can go work on your sides. Wow, ah, paint shirt. <laughs> I got a lot of those. So you can see with putting the white down, um, streaks make it streaky 
The birch trees will be lighter, of course, more white. Make sure that you go all the way up and down. Get some white in there. Starting to look pretty decent. Got a lot of white. I like the way this is turning out. Make sure we got all the canvas covered. So, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? You could do this with blue and white and get that effect. So yeah, I will work on the sides later, but uh, we'll just leave this and let it dry, and uh, you guys have a great rest of your day, and then we'll get this and finish it up. Talk to you soon. Bye.